Rise of Tomb Raider is finally coming to PC next week, and I, for one, am keen to start delving into dungeons and catacombs with this icon of gaming. But if you think you've been missing out on some of Lara's adventures since she debuted back in 1996 on the PlayStation, then I have three of the best games to catch up with her right here. <laughs> Lara Croft Rise of the Tomb Raider and haven't yet played the 2013 reboot simply called Tomb Raider then I suggest you pick that up immediately and get playing. This story of Lara Croft written by Rihanna Pratchett lays out the genesis of this kick-ass character. An archaeologist that specialised in Japanese history, her and her friends are shipwrecked as they search for the legendary lost kingdom of Yamatai. Separated from the others, she must brave the elements and fend for herself. Hard enough under normal circumstances, but the island the group are stranded on is indeed the home of Yamatai, and it's filled with dangers. From a religious mercenary cult that is out for any riches they can find, to mythical Japanese demons known as Oni, Lara must beat them all to rescue her friends and reach safety as she transforms from timid scientist into hardened, bow-wielding survivor. This adventure takes the hero from the highest peaks to the lowest caves and it all looks and plays fantastically as the action switches between navigation, combat and environmental puzzle solving. Along the way Lara grows in skill, confidence and resilience in a way that resolves brilliantly with the story, the gameplay and her establishment as the star of the franchise absolutely brilliant. Originally released in 2010, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light is a spin-off of the main Tomb Raider franchise. Taking the popular twin-stick shooter mechanic, the game creates an isometric world filled with action and problem solving that keeps the main Tomb Raider motif. The more arcadey nature of Guardian of Light's controls leads to a far faster pace of play than most Tomb Raider titles, with enemies coming thick and fast and the onus being on you to take them down quickly rather than using stealth and guile. To help with this, the game introduces Totec, a minor warrior and leader of the Guardians of Light. This all plays into the plot that begins 2000 years ago in Central America and results in Totec and the evil Zolti being imprisoned until the present day. Cue Lara freeing both of them along with trolls, giant spiders and other demonic hordes to be shot and speared to death. Totec is more than a mere plot device however and his inclusion also allows for some fast paced multiplayer co-op action. Lara and Totec must work together to solve many of the game's puzzles, which range from them both pushing blocks and boulders to Totec throwing spears for Lara to use as platforms in order for her to unlock the way forward. An excellent combination of action and problem solving for one or two players to enjoy together. Lara Croft Go is a Tomb Raider game that continues Square Enix series of mobile Go titles which began with Hitman Go. This franchise takes iconic game characters and implants them into turn-based strategy board games. These all have a stunning look with every puzzle-based stage looking like a beautiful diorama. And Lara Croft Go has perfected this, adding more colour, animation and enemy variety to make each new stage and their puzzles feel unique. It even manages to inject some level of dread and trepidation through its use of colour and scale, particularly when huge lizards smash their way across completed areas. Being a turn-based game, you get the chance to move and attack, and then all of the monsters and other hazards in the world get their go. It's easy to control with simple swipes being all that's needed to move Lara from one space to the next. But don't think that that means it's easy. You'll spend plenty of time working out exactly how many spaces that spider can move before you commit to an action, or trying to work out the best route from A to B without passing through the view of a vicious snake who will instantly attack if they see you. It is perhaps the biggest departure for the franchise, but it retains a Tomb Raider look and feel that can't be denied. And it's the best portable game of Lara Croft going. Get it going, because Lara Croft go. Ah, you got it. So that's it for my list of the best Lara Croft and Tomb Raider games going. And I know how easy it is to get nostalgic for those classic Tomb Raiders, like Tomb Raider 2 with Lara kind of twisting and drowning as she tries to swim down those little passages. But I think, in truth, we can all admit that the modern games are a little bit easier to play these days. But if you disagree, you know where to let me know. That's it for this week. I'll be back in seven days with my opinions on another three games. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And remember to like and share this video. I'll see you next time.